In this video, we will utilize several different simulations in Multisim. We examine a single stage transistor amplifier for DC bias, time domain response, and frequency response. The amplifier is of the type found in Chapter 7 of the Semiconductor Devices OER textbook. A theoretical analysis of the circuit yields some of the values shown. First, we'll check the DC values by using the DC operating point simulation. The agreement between the theoretical and simulated results is quite good. Moving on, we investigate the AC signals using the transient analysis simulation. We'll set the start time to one second to get past the power up fluctuation. We'll set the end time to see two cycles of the waveform, or 1.002 seconds. At the output, we will see an inverted wave of approximately 2 volts peak. This is as predicted. A close look at the waveform shows a slight asymmetry in the peaks. This is caused by the nonlinearity of the transistor. To check the THD level, select Fourier from the Simulate menu. On the Analysis Parameters tab, select Chart. On the Output tab, select the Load Voltage, select Run. The results list the first group of harmonics with their amplitude and phase. The second harmonic is particularly large. It accounts for most of the asymmetry. The combination results in a total harmonic distortion of about 0.6%. Hardly hi-fi, but good enough for general purpose work. At this point, we can check the frequency response. Select AC Sweep from the Simulate menu. Set the frequency range to 10 Hz to 10 megahertz. We'll use a decibel vertical scale. On the output tab, select the load voltage, select run. We can use the cursors to verify that the gain is about 26 decibels in the mid band. We can also determine the three dB down points that define the bandwidth. Further, we can verify that the mid-band phase shift is about negative 180 degrees.
And there you have it, a relatively complete analysis using several of Multisim's simulation tools. Thanks for watching.